In this video, we're going to be testing out the new Pedro Fiasco Barbershop Shaving Cream. We're going to be using the Wade and Butcher for Gentleman's Use Straight Razor, and we're going to announce a new giveaway. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back. Welcome in. We have a good one for you today. As mentioned before, today we're going to be testing out the new cream from Ariane and Evans. This is the Pedro Fiasco line. It's brand new. Hasn't been released yet. It's actually still in beta testing. This is the Barbershop Shaving Cream. I don't have the ingredients, cost, or anything like that. We're just testing this out to see how it lathers, how slick it is, and all that kind of good stuff. I have used this before for a head shave. It was quite good, and I got an amazing lather with it this morning easily. I expected to be annoyed by it, to be honest, because I don't really like lathering super soft uh, soaps or creams, and this is super, super soft. In fact, I could probably pour it out, but I put it in a bowl, and surprisingly, it's stuck in there because it's kind of tacky. And the lather just came along creamy very, very quickly. I'll show you our lather shot right there. So ease on ease of use on this in terms of artisanal creams or creams in general, it was very good. And honestly, I expected to be annoyed. I was not. The scent on this is, uh, is an interesting barbershop. It's not my favorite barbershop scent of all time, but it's quite stout in scent strength. And it is in the realm of barbershop. And again, this is beta. It hasn't been released yet. The label's just printed off his printer there in the office so if you see any air bubbles or defects it's just because it's a test product and so we look forward to using this today and seeing how that goes we're also going to be using the wade and butcher for gentlemen's use straight razor that was a gift from the stallion uh anthony esposito thank you so much for sending me this this is my favorite straight razor it's a treasured gift and you don't see very many of the wade and butcher for gentlemen's use razors very few out there so it's one of those razors that i really treasure we're also going to be announcing a new giveaway today, and it will be for the PAA Accension Twist Copper. This is in copper. You don't see these uh, very much, so we're going to announce a giveaway for this razor today, so stay tuned for that. We'll also announce the winner uh, of the giveaway from last week. So, without further ado, let's get busy lathering. I hope you're all doing great today. I'm just misting the face. And by the way, I do have a little bump coming up right there, so if we scalp that today, we won't count that as a Nick Bump Creeper or Weeper or anything like that. Uh, because we know we already have sort of a war wound there. So if I haven't opened that up, I'm not counting it. That's the way I roll here. All right, let's get into it. Um, the brush for today, West Coast Shaving. Uh, it's just sort of like an aqua sort of color. And the lather here is quite good. Uh, again, it was the ease of use was, it was pretty remarkable. Um, it was very nice indeed. And I didn't have to use that much. I expected to have to use a lot. Look at that. You can tell that <laughs> that's some creamy goodness. This Peter Charcalis, this Sneaky Pete from A&E, he just has a knack for making soap formulas. Like every time you turn around, he's coming up with something. He's a very creative guy. Now, do we need, you know, 47 formulas in a year? No, and he hasn't done that. I'm being flip. I'm just, I'm busting his chops a little bit. But I tell you what, I think he said he was going to settle in to the Kaizen 2E, um, the Pedro Fiasco, and perhaps this cream, I'm telling you right now, Pete, quality wise, this, this cream is ready to go. You can see the lather. I mean, let's slap that on there so you can see the, it holds hydration. It, it, it went creamy right away in the bowl. So I don't expect any quality problems. Look at that. That is good stuff. Good stuff. Now, folks, I want to mention something about lathering that I've been trying to reiterate. Do you have to have a super sheen on your lather to get a great shave? No, you don't. So... If it's not coming along for you so far, don't worry, it will come along. But if your shaves are going well, you're doing it right. So keep it, keep that in mind. It's not essential to have a super sheen on your lather, but it does indicate you got some hydration in there, which is a good thing. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's rinse the hand here and then we'll get started today with our Wade and Butcher for gentlemen's use razor. I think I've only ever seen three or four of these ever. The Stallion has one, he gave me one. Um, and there's a couple of other ones floating around. I'm not sure why it's, it's so rare, but it is. Now this one has been rescaled, obviously. It doesn't have its original 
scales and so forth, but it really is an amazing razor and piece of history uh, from my perspective. And uh, I'm very fortunate to have it, and it's an honor to have it, you know, from a friend in the stallion. So thank you again, Anthony. Appreciate that. And on straight sh shave, or straight razor, I should say, Sunday, we'll try to have a excellent shave today. The edge on here is Anthony's edge, and I, I don't know how many times I've used this razor. I've used it, uh, you know, a number of times, but uh, the edge is still holding up. So we have no issues with the edge whatsoever. And this is just a heck of an old razor. This razor was made in the 1800s. So it is very old. So don't let the, the rescale fool you. It looks rather modern, but this razor is, is quite old indeed. Probably the mid to late 1800s, I want to say. Um, so it's been around a while. And if this story could talk, I would love to hear the stories <laughs> it could tell. That's one of the things about these old vintage pieces. You'd love to know uh, where this razor has been. Has it been on a battlefield somewhere? Um, you know, you just, you never know. And you can see the sheen on that leather there, at least I think I can. You never know how it comes across on camera. I can see it. I don't know if you can. Let's put it that way. There we go. Very nice. Using a gentle touch and just keep plugging away there. And man, oh man, what a shaver this is. Amazing piece of history. And, and you know, it's a, it's a treasured gift. And what's better than that to to be using something that came from a friend that I've known for years. And sometimes we argue, we don't agree on everything uh, like friends do, but um, it really is one of those things I'm, I'm proud to uh, own. All right, let's continue on here. Now my favorite open blade, as you know, is the WEC. That's just my favorite open blade experience. But in straight razors, if I had to pick my favorite straight razor, it would be this one. Because it means something to me. It has, you know, I have reverence for it. There we go. Very nice indeed. Still cutting well, so the edge is holding up. Nice. So let's talk a little bit about the giveaways. First, let's announce the winner for last week. I'm going to put it up on the screen right there. Malcolm Booker, you are the winner of the $25 gift card. I will purchase that from the Razor Company. Email me, cdb at imcdb.com, and I will send that over to you. Congrats, and thank you so much for your support, Malcolm. Malcolm is a Patreon supporter, and uh, thank you so much for that. The Patreon supporter get, get automatic uh, entries into the giveaway. So thank you so much, Malcolm, and I hope you enjoy that. Now, the giveaway for this week, uh, I'll mention here in just a moment once I finish this pass, or I'll, I'll talk about when I'm lathering it. Uh, this is the PAA Ascension Twist Razor in copper, and they don't have these in stock, and they haven't for a long time. So it's kind of a rare bird in some ways, because there's probably not a ton of them out there. I think it runs about $99.99 at PAA, and that is up for giveaway. And we're just going to do it the way we've been doing it. If you want to enter, just write Shave Talk below. And I encourage you, if you haven't joined the Shave Talk Facebook group, join us. We just talked shaving in there. It's been great so far. A lot of participation and thanks to those of you who are participating. Really appreciate that. It's just a place where we can enjoy shaving and enjoy each other's company. And you know, we don't talk about politics or get off the track of shaving too much. Every now and then it might veer off just a little bit. You know, I saw a post, you know, where's everybody from and people trying to get to know one another. But the main idea is we keep it shave centric and we're talking about shaving and post your shave of the days and just if you have questions you want to learn something ask the question in there there are many people there great people to help you that's the whole idea is to help people and connect them with things they enjoy and with people they enjoy and you know what's better than that so to enter the giveaway once again just uh, write shave talk in the comments below and if you are a patreon supporter you already get giveaways based on your the amount of contribution but you can write shave talk below too and get another entry if you please it, by the way, if you could see this here, this is just, wow. Peter just, I don't know, this guy knows how to make a soap. That's all there is to it. Really nice. And again, I tried this before for head shaving. It was fantastic. The quality is its what you'd expect from A&E. Um, I did not expect this cream to sort of measure up in the quality of the lather to his other soaps. But I got to say, uh, I don't know. I don't know how he does it. I know I tried a cream from uh, 
holy cow maybe a month ago the uh, peach one it had a fantastic scent and the quality was good on that one but that one was more expensive than this one will be by a lot and the quality of this one meets or exceeds that one so uh this might be the first great artisanal cream. There are some good artisanal creams out there. I know Ginger's Garden used to make one. Holy Cow makes one. This might be the first great one, like that takes it to another level. Cause it, um, I don't know, it didn't, perf it didn't fluff up or anything on me. It was, uh, and it didn't act like a lotion where it just, it failed to want to lather. It just, it went creamy right away. And I enjoyed that <laughs> very much. All right, let's stop yapping here for just a second and and get back involved with the shaving because we don't want a video that's, you know, 97 minutes long. Very nice. Very nice indeed. If you're new to straight razor shaving, just remember the main idea is to make sure you, when you come in, don't come in too fast or too hot um, or at too steep an angle. Because fast, coming in fast kind of means coming in too hot, but keep it sort of shallow, at least when you first put it to your face and then sort of rotate it out or at least that's what I do and it works well for me but don't come in too fast you know be careful when you bring it to the face can you hear that a lot of feedback there this blade has probably been reground I think uh, because that you could tell on the uh, toe there I don't think they were square that way could have been but I think this one may have been reground a little bit it was probably repaired and that is entirely okay. I'm still very happy to own it. It's a good shaver. It's a very good shaver. Looks great. It's very, very old and I think it's awesome. So I really enjoy uh, using this razor. It's just one of those things where I'll always take care of it. It will always remain in my den. Others might come and go, but this one will stay. This will be one to pass down to someone, maybe a grandkid, something like that. In my opinion, it's just amazing piece of history. All right, good enough on that side. And I don't think we managed to open up that bump, so that's great. And if I did, I don't see it, so no worry. <laughs> All right, let's move it on over here. And again, hope everybody's having a great day. Let me know below, what did you use today? And let me also let me know below, are you a straight razor shaver? Do you use straight razors or chevettes? Chevettes on occasion? Very nice. There we go. Doesn't take much with uh, straight razors for me to get a nice clean result. You're, you're uh, cutting a lot of area at one time. And uh, one of the things I want to mention is the other day I saw a gentleman, I think he was new to straight razor shaving. He was commenting on, on how it feels different. Yes, a straight razor edge will feel different than a machine blade. And also there's another thing you have to think about. You're cutting a lot more at one time. So you're going to feel more resistance than you would with a DE razor. Cause a DE razor is what? Less than two inches. And the straight razor is like two and three quarters to, you know, close to three inches. So you're cutting a lot more hair at one time. So you're, you're gonna have more resistance. That doesn't mean it should feel tuggy, but just keep in mind you're doing more work with that long blade than you are with the DE. So it's not gonna feel the same as a machine blade. So. Keep that in mind. All right, so we will stop right there. We'll rinse off cam and then we'll come back and do the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam we did our warm water rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. After applying the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Upon the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. I had an excellent shave today with the Ariane and Evans Pedro Fiasco Barbershop Shaving Cream. The quality on this is right on point, Pete. It is ready to go. It made a creamy lather. It was slick. Uh, it had all the qualities that you want. It's very, very soft, but somehow it didn't annoy me. Uh, this is ready to go quality wise. It's just, it's fantastic. Uh, pretty much everything Pete at A&E makes formula wise is fantastic. Whether you like the scent, you know, that's subjective, but this is fantastic. It's definitely the best uh, artisanal shaving cream that I've ever tried. So there you have it on that. This is ready to go. Uh, we used our Wade and Butcher, if I can uncover it here, <laughs> our Wade and Butcher for gentleman's use, straight razor, which is a beautiful piece sent to me by the stallion, a treasured gift and got an amazing shave with that. Don't forget today, uh, the PAA, 
Ascension Twist in Copper is up for giveaway. All you have to do is write Shave Talk below and be a subscriber. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, I really appreciate that a lot. So make sure you enter the giveaway. We'll draw this one, uh, you know, somewhere around a week, unless I have to go out of town, in which case uh, I'll go ahead and speed it up and, and do the drawing so I can ship it out before I leave because I know I'm going to be going out of town soon. We use the uh, West Coast Shaving brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush sucking mug. And the aftershave, I forgot to bring in once again. I'm going to use A&E uh, Barbieri Sophisticato or something like that. It's barbershop. It's great. And we're going to have a great day. And I hope wherever you are, you have a great day as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CVB, reminding you it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.